They say a picture is worth a thousand words. That's why in this presentation, I'm going to tell you how to add a thousand words to your own presentation by putting in pictures and graphics. So first, let's talk about adding pictures. We have this bland PowerPoint presentation. I'm going to get to a blank slide. And I've already typed what you should be looking for is you want a photo licensed under Creative Commons. The you can't just take any picture from the website. A lot of them are copyrighted and to use them, you have to get permission from the artist, right? A photo is a kind of art. And so um, we don't want to just use somebody's without their permission. And so we don't want to go through the time and the effort to get their permission. So we want to look for images that we know that we're allowed to use. And those images are images that are licensed under what's called Creative Commons. Creative Commons means that is open for people to use. Sometimes there's stipulations, right? Like you can't use it for commercial process pro purposes, like if you wanted to sell something with that image. Um, and sometimes they'll say you can use this image, but you can't modify it in any way, right? Like you can't crop it or anything else. We're not so worried about those probably. We just want to use the, some images in our presentation. So if you go to Google and you search Creative Commons images, it will bring you to this website. It's usually the top thing that comes up, creativecommons.org. So from here, we can search for an image. I want to get a picture of students because I'm doing my essay about a certain student group and how they're successful or not. So I want to get some images with students in it. Okay, I like this image of students sitting in a class. All right. It's licensed under Creative Commons CC, and it just says credit the creator, and they give me the information to do it here. So I'm going to right click this, copy the image, come to my presentation, paste the image. I need to size that. Came in a little bit big, so I want to make it a right size for my presentation. Come on, scooch down. Okay, so I'm put that in my presentation, and then I know I also have to copy this information to give the author credit. Again, I'm going to come here. I need to insert a text box. Paste that information right in there. OK, so now I've got a photo and it's properly attributed to the author. So I'm good to go with my presentation. All right, so that's one way to get properly licensed pictures and how to put them in your presentations. Another thing you might want to do is add a chart or graph to your picture. This might seem scary. For me, this is scary because I'm not always one to, to love mathy things like a chart and graph. But PowerPoint makes it pretty easy. I can go to the insert menu. I can click on chart. I can pick which kind of chart I want to make. Probably a column or a pie chart would be the most common. Maybe a line chart. I'm going to put a pie chart in. All right, that's what I want to do, that kind of chart. OK. When I Press OK, it brings up this Excel file. Now again, Excel files and me, we are not usually friendly, but this is easy enough to do, right? I can put in, let's say I'm talk, comparing college success rates to different groups of students. I'm just making up numbers here. OK, so I made up numbers. Actually, we'll retitle this student success. Close that. Might take it a second to process my new. Uh, well, for some reason, it still says sales, but I can just edit that here. But you see the rest of my categories changed. Just type in here, student success. All right, and so now I've got a nice chart that I can use in my presentation. And that wasn't that easy, that hard for me to do, right? Even me, who I worry about my math abilities sometimes, that was pretty easy to do. Let me also show you in Google. I have a sample presentation up in Google. Oops, there we go. Um, and so let's say I want to do the same thing in Google. I want to add a chart. 
Same thing, I can go to the insert menu. All right, I can create a chart. I found this a little bit trickier um, because what's happened is that I'm gonna get a chart. I wanna click edited in sheets. I got a little lost the first time I tried this and I wasn't able to get back to my presentation. So let's see how we do this time. But again, I've got to scooch up a little bit from where the picture is. Again, I can edit it, you know, types of students. All right, I won't put as many in this time so that it doesn't take as much time. All right. So you see it's put in my edits a little bit. So I have this chart created. I can title this, you know, maybe I want to just title this chart for presentation. And now it's saved into my Google, into my Google uh, Sheets. All right. Then I can go back into my presentation. I'm going to get rid of this sample one. And I'm going to hit insert chart. And now I'm going to say from Sheets. And then it's going to bring up the charts that I just created. For some of you who are better at using this, then you might have another way of doing this, but this is how I figured it out. So then I'm gonna click this is the one I wanna bring in. I'm gonna import it. Okay, and here it is in my presentation. Again, we're gonna to need to, came in a little big, gonna to need to size it to the right size. But that's how you can add a presentation pretty easily to your uh, presentation. How you can add a chart pretty easily to your presentation. Okay, I hope this helps you in creating jazzier slide presentations and answering some of your questions. Good luck with creating your presentations, and I look forward to watching them.